what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? We're leaving this place. Together. Okay, Sean? What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door! I don't know you! Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean! I'm your father! Talk to me! Just open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean! S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. 
Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I want answers, asshole. Now. Under the circumstances, I will forgive your vulgarity, but I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Institute. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Human synths? Really? Human-like synths. A great distinction. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. But, director? Why you? I was the most qualified for the position, obviously. 
I've lived my life within these walls. Dedicated to science like every other member of the Institute. My hard work has paid off. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. He was a murderer. He killed your mother. Believe me, I am well aware of the atrocities Kellogg committed. I suspect there are many more we'll never know of. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place. Although I think maybe it always was. It's just a bit more honest about it now. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But, what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. I know. I know you've been through so much. I'm pleased to see it has not impaired your judgment. Forgive me. I'd assume that after everything I'm sure you've seen above ground, you would be... More than a bit biased against us. There is much to be done. You'll need time to acclimate yourself. A chance to become acquainted with our procedures. Is all that really necessary? What's there to learn? For now, it is enough that you understand that the Institute really is devoted to the betterment of humanity. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next.
almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. Hey there. Greetings, sir. The phase out on these older models can't come soon. Excuse enough. me. Oh, I don't know. Most of we're all looking forward to working with you. Oh, I can't Child argue with that. Synth. Even so, it's just I'm remarkable. ready to see. Excuse me, doctor. There we go. They weren't kidding. All set. You really are Unit, here. You can return to well, duty. all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? On board with what? The Institute, of course. Sean implied you operated on a level, if not equal, and at least similar to the rest of us. Blah, if there's blah, anything blah. else you'd like to know about the facility's division... Shut up. Who built this place, originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks again. Of course. I Allie. hear we're about to get a new food supplement. Something I can help you with? It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> You don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. Dr. Fillmore. Hi there. What's on your mind? It's an honor to have you here, sir. Hey. I know you'll achieve great things here. We all do. What are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? You know I can't talk about that. <clears throat> You're here. Glad you made it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Dr. Watson can be a little obsessive when it comes to rules and policies. Hello. Did I turn off the interferometer? So much research, so little time. She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Well, Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. Authorized to be where? What is this place? You're standing in the Advanced Systems Division, and you, you are not a part of my staff. If you want a tour of the place, why don't you ask Father, seeing that he's apparently given you the keys to the castle? Now, can I get back to work?
Easy. I just want to talk. About what? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. Why would we want you dead? I did some pretty sensitive work for the Brotherhood of Steel. Even though Lions let me go, there were a few others in the ranks that thought I knew too much. That's why I came to the Institute. It was the only place that I thought I'd be out of the Brotherhood's reach and still be able to do my research. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seemed to have everything under control when I left. Did you abandon any projects you wanted to complete? You should know better than to ask me that. If they didn't tell you what I was working on, they didn't want you to know. I'm certainly not going to put my neck on the line and spread their dirty little secrets. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. You're wasting your breath. I'm a scientist, not a soldier. The Brotherhood desired my creations in order to destroy, to take control. I'm not interested in returning to that way of life. The Institute is deceiving you. So now you're just gonna hurl baseless accusations to get what you want? Come on, you can do better than that. I was just told to get you to come back. The Brotherhood wants me back, and the best they can do is send a robot that does nothing but follow orders? Sorry, but you're going to have to do a lot better than that. I give up. What would it take to convince you? All right, I'll play your game. I had a colleague down here, a Dr. Virgil. Several months ago, there was an accident in his lab, and he was killed. I wanted to help with the investigation, but Father had the laboratory sealed, saying that it was contaminated. The incident never sat right with me. The more I asked about it, the more I felt like Father was deflecting my questions. If you bring me solid information on what killed him, I'll take it as a favor from the Brotherhood and consider your offer. Do we have a deal? I know this may come as a shock, but Dr. Virgil is still alive. I met him myself. Oh, please. Do you really think a cheap tactic like that is gonna work on someone like me? Stop trying to avoid the legwork by lying. Either you get me the evidence, or we have nothing else to talk about. Deal? Deal. All right. Dr. Virgil's lab, I can give you a code that will get you into the section, but the lab itself? I'd tell you to be quiet about it, but your brotherhood and discretion isn't exactly your strong suit. And finally, if you get caught, we never had this conversation. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. A coarser chip? What's it do? The same thing it does for our coursers. Creates a link to the relay that allows them, in case the significance is lost on you, if nothing else. Whatever. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two. Dr. Lee. I thought I was clear. Bring me the evidence, and I'll consider returning to the Brotherhood. In case anyone didn't mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m.
time to examine my latest reports on Batch 274. Not yet. Dr. Holdren's South Gorilla Project is showing promising results. Hacking this is beyond me. Got it. That's it. Setting threat level. There we go.
sensor alert. Anomaly, weapons hot. Sensor alert. Anomaly detected. Contact re Got it. Don't think I can pick this.
This is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. Well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Please resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. But, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Ambushed on the road. We're outnumbered.
Recon report. Knight Wagner recording. It appears the intel claiming the old CIT ruins house an entrance to the Institute. Uh, this is Dr. Elliot with the official report for the Directorate from Bioscience. The date is, um, August. 2178. I'm pleased to report that, as has been the case during my tenure, crop yields exceed expectations. In point of fact, everything down here is fine, with one notable exception. Dr. Frederick has informed me that the Directorate has pre-approved research on samples of the FEV virus, which he already has in his possession. Now, I'm not one to question the Directorate, you all know that. I don't even want to know where this came from. But, well, this is troubling. Dangerous, possibly. I will do my best to make sure risks are minimized. But I really do hope that the consequences are understood. Remember to keep unnecessary power consumption to a minimum. Don't reach our primary level. Dr. Lee. I thought I was clear. Bring me the evidence. What sort of evidence should I look for? If I knew that, I wouldn't need your help. Look for Virgil's notes or his personal recordings. Anything